I'm Dr. Dean Sir from the Richard Veterinary Hospital. I'm here today with one of our technicians, Kelly, and our boy, Winston, who is going to help us teach you how to brush a dog's teeth. We're very lucky to have Winston today for two reasons. Number one, because he's an incredible patient, and secondly, because he came to our hospital administrator through our Adopt-a-Pet Day that we hold twice a year to find permanent homes. So, we all know about the importance of preventative care. We practice heartworm medicine once a month, we take care of our flea protection once a month, we look for the very best diets that are available for our pets in order to keep them from becoming obese and to make sure that they have the longest, healthiest lives that we can. But we all often overlook one important preventative health care measure, and that is cleaning their teeth. Dental disease does more than just cause bad breath. It also causes infections that can spread to the kidneys, the heart, and the liver, shortening the lives of our pets. A simple preventative program of brushing a dog's teeth once a day can give them a longer, healthier lifetime. Many people don't realize that approximately 80% of all dogs and cats have some degree of health disease. Poor hygiene leads to bad breath, pain, kidney, and liver, and heart disease that I mentioned, and premature death. If any one of us had a small inflammatory lesion in our mouth on the gum, the odds are we'd be trying to find a dentist that day. And yet, we let our pet's oral hygiene go until it smells so bad that we can't avoid it anymore. At that point, we have advanced disease. We need to put ourselves in our pet's places and say, how much pain are they putting up with all this time? So, let's get to work teaching you how to brush your dog's teeth. The first step is going to be to get your dog to let you go in their mouth. Just imagine if someone walked up to you one day and put a stick in your mouth and started rubbing it back and forth without any explanation. Don't think you'd like it. So we're going to have to teach our pets to accept it as well. And so at first just handle their faces, brush their, or pet their heads, be gentle with them, look them straight in the face, and then you can just slip your finger inside the mouth, just very gently for just a minute, take it out, and let them know they're good kids. Okay? And then we'll do it again, and the second time, you're going to worry a whole lot less about it. And you might just lift up the gum, the lip and look at the gum line to see if there's any disease. Let it go, and let them know they're new kids. Very cool boy. Some dogs are extremely food motivated, and you can start off by doing whatever you want to do, and then giving them a reward. In short order, they'll be looking forward to you looking them out because they're going to get a reward. You can do the same thing with a toothpaste. And so this is a doggy toothpaste, and you can see Winston doesn't object at all. So we start off by just letting him take it as though it's a reward, and we can put a little bit up on our finger, just smear it on the tooth quickly and let it go. All he thinks is he's getting another treat. And the odds are he's going to look forward to it the next time you come around. He's certainly not going to object to coming in and manipulating the teeth. So now you can see I'm actually rubbing the teeth a little bit, not too much, and let it go. Okay? So that's how you get him accustomed to the fact that you're going to be doing something in his mouth. It's very important that you use a toothpaste that's made for dogs. Human toothpaste contains detergent, and it will burn your dog's stomach. So these come in many flavors. We're using poultry, which he obviously likes, but there are lots of other flavors so that you can find one that's suited to your pet. And then we need a toothbrush. You could actually use a small child's toothbrush, but these are toothbrushes that are made for dogs. And they're really kind of neat because they have a big end and a small end. And that'll let you get into big spaces and little spaces. And so what we're going to do to introduce them to the toothbrush is we're simply going to put a little bit of the toothpaste on the brush and let him decide if he wants to do it. No problem. Do this a couple of times, and if your dog's really anxious about it, do this for a couple of days before you even try to brush your teeth. As you can see, very little hesitation, he's all over it. He's getting to feel the brush, and he's, he's learning that there's nothing to fear about this implement. So then we're going to take the toothbrush, put the toothpaste on it, lift the upper lip, and we're just going to go one, two, three, done. And maybe I'm going to give him a treat, because we want him to think the whole process is fun and rewarding. Really, Winston? Can we do that again? So we're going to lift the lip again, brush the tooth, one, two, three, we're done. Let him have his treat. And slowly but surely, we're going to work our way back into the mouth to the molars. 
So here we are back in Lola, and you can see how, how easily he's letting me get in there. No objection at all. He's just trying to eat the toothpaste. We're going to work right along the upper arcade until that whole upper side is done. Then we're going to go to the lower arcade on that side, and then we're going to work around to the other side. One of the nice things about brushing a dog's teeth is you don't have to do the inside. The eraser tongue will take care of, of almost all the plaque that would otherwise form in that area. You can see Winston's looking for some more treat. This is brushing my teeth again. You got it, Winston. So now we're going to do the left, excuse me, the right side, and look at this. He could care less, except that he wants his treat. So a little bit, and we're done. Easy procedure for this boy. So doing that will help you to prolong the interval between regular cleanings by your veterinarian. There's no way you can avoid a professional cleaning in a dog's mouth any, way, any more than you can avoid that in yourself. You might brush your teeth three or four times a day. You still have to go to the dentist once in a while and have it done properly. But this may increase the interval between those episodes. So brushing a dog's teeth daily is one of the best things you can ever do and it might help your pet avoid the discomfort of uh, dental disease. And then on the fun side, after the teeth are being brushed, there are many other things you can do. Using chew toys like this, they may have a, a knobby surface to work on the plaque. There are hygienic plegics that you can use. These are disinfectants. Little pads that you can rub along the gum, gum line to kill bacteria. There are lots of food items now that are being produced to help Keep, keep your dog's teeth clean. This is a treat. There's a food made by Hills Corporation called TD. It does a wonderful job of reducing plaque on the teeth. And a host of other fun treats for your pets to eat that will also help clean their teeth. And you can see how interested Winston is. So we invite you to give your dog many more years, healthy, happy years, pain-free, by brushing a dog's teeth once a day. Hi, Winston.